It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the teams from Super Bowl 49 and that goal line pick. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots coming up next. From the home of many a title run and one of the NFL's most successful franchises, you're looking live at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Here's Jason Myers to get this one going. And we're off from Foxborough. His return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. So out come the Patriots, ready for their first possession. Leading them out, the third overall pick in this year's draft. After a decorated career at UNC, it's Drake May. What a wild draft it was back in April. Six quarterbacks in the top 12, and Drake May, he was number three on that list. He was number three because this guy's got some tools now. He's big. He's athletic, he's got a brilliant arm, and he's got quite an opportunity with a first-time head coach here in New England. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and 10. Looking to throw right away. That'll be complete to Gibson. And they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how, I don't care when, just find unique ways to get this running back the ball, and over time, he's going to make you pay. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Tight end going in motion here. From the 31. Able to find Jones. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. First down, ball at the 36. Throwing his May. A dangerous throw, and he almost got burned by it. The interception dropped and incomplete on first down. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. May has the connection to Jones. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Here's May to the air. That's caught for the first. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a New England first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Offense marching it downfield on their opening drive. Here's a first and 10 from the 47. A give up the middle to Stevenson. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. They go again with Stevenson. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. 
A gain of four for them, and that sets up third and seven. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get gains like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. To the air, third and long. Cut by Gibson. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, they're going to throw it! He finds him beyond the marker, and he's taken down at the 30. That's a gain of 10, and staring at a turnover on downs, Brock, they pick up the first instead. Oh, so close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. <laughs> They'll run here on first down. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. Slot man in motion right. Second and six now. Taking a deep shot here. And they don't connect looking deep there, but this play's not quite over yet. So there's a flag on the field. So not a holding call. One of the linemen actually too far downfield that time. That's what drew the flag. Offense to the line for second down. Made a throw it. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's short of the first after a mild game. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Throwing on third and long. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he stopped just a little short of the goal line. He's down to the two. First shot gets him five. Still a couple of looks remaining. It's second and goal. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. May now. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And now it'll be third and goal. You know, those big guys are taught that if you can't get to the quarterback, guess what you can still do? You can get a pass breakup. That's perfect timing to get his hand up and knock that ball away. From the gun on third down. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots finish up an excellent opening series. Well, he couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Joey Sly on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest.
All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They'll be led out by the 12th year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. When Geno Smith won Comeback Player of the Year, it was really hard to find another comp. You know, the NFL, we love to always compare and contrast guys from different eras or project them moving forward. But there just were not many stories like Geno Smith, who just waited and persevered a decade, a decade in the NFL before he flourished. But what came to life finally was just the arm strength, the accuracy, the playmaking ability that was there at West Virginia. And it just took some time and maybe a little love from Pete Carroll at that time to really elevate his confidence and elevate his game. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And that leaves him with third and short. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. you got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They can revisit that play in the future. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Two yards on the pickup, and the Seahawks will have a first down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. They go play action on first. Got a man open, complete. And they make the stop, we're gonna say it about the 37 yard line. It's a 24 yard gash and it gives them the first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Play action on first down. Open receiver caught. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. He's got it. And he's got it across the goal line for a touchdown. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah, because they want to put a touchdown on the board. Now it's Jason Myers on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. Kickoff. 
Nice return, start to the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. New England taking the field. It's second series of the game coming up. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Here's second and seven. Complete. It's born. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. More from Gillette Stadium in just a minute. Back and ready now for the second quarter. It's Patriots football. They're looking at first down here. May looking to throw. That's incomplete left side. No luck finding his receiver that time. And it sets up second down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now a give to Stevenson. Coming right. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Third down, one yard to go. I'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. First down, ball at the 36. Running it again with Gibson. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. These big D tackles in this league, they love weaponizing their size right in the middle of the field. It is so hard to clear lane against them. And once he got his paw on him, it was dead on arrival. Second and ten now. Hauled in by Moore. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. They motion the tight end over. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Patriots take a second quarter lead. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out, and that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. Here's Sly to try the point after. Oh, 
That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff, Sly with the honors. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. He's up again! And he's all the way into enemy territory, officially at the 49. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. A split second, all to get the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split-second reactions. A nice bit of burst search forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. Staying with Walker. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision in extra yards. They're set up at the 35 now. Throwing off the play fake here. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll give up the gut to Walker. Breaks the tackle, still going. He picks up seven, and now it's second and goal at the three. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They're running again. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Well, you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. Third time's the charm. He gets it again. And he takes this one in for a Seattle touchdown. The Seahawks can tie it up in a second after cutting into the lead. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating a defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal.
Myers to add the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. Turn coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Patriots and Antonio Gibson back out on offense. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. The give inside of Gibson. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good run, gets him seven, that brings up second and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Hand off on second and short. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. So we're at the two minute warning here from Gillette. It's the Patriots, who have first and ten. To throw, here's May. He finds the open man there, complete. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And the Patriots will have a first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers for moments like this. He did not have much margin for error, and it happens oh so fast. So upon further review and a consultation from Game Day Central, the call overturned. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. May. That one complete to Stevenson. And this one doesn't go far. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal gain. Patriots trying to hustle everyone up to the line. if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Patriots punt team coming out with former sixth rounder Bryce Behringer to do the honors. Fair catch called for and brought in at the 11. The Seahawks start headed out and we'll see Kenneth Walker. 
We don't get a return out of that punt. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. They're out and set, first and ten. Smith to the air now. Getting out to his left. He can run it. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 21. Walker holds it in. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. We've reached halftime of what's been an entertaining one so far. 14-all is our score. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Well, we're set up for an incredible second half, all tied as we kick it away here in quarter number three. Kickoff taken at the three. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Seahawks back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. Hey, we're dead even here through two quarters, and you know exactly what that means. That means both coaching staffs emphasized coming out strong here to begin the second half. Well, that return puts you in great position to do so and maybe even take control of this game. First and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw, Smith. Connection made to Smith and Jigba. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. First is man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. From the 40 on second down. Got a man, coverage lost and complete. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. He picks up 28 on the play. And it sets up Seattle with first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, they'll run. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. From the 29. He's got it near the 10. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Walker now from the gun. And he will 
score. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks take the lead right away in half number two. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Myers to add the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Patriots returning their offense and this running back to the field. And they're a touchdown back, Brock, as they take over down 21-14. First and ten. Gibson here from the gun. And he could only get a lone yard. Took a couple of guys to haul him down near the line. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Made a throw it. Forced out to his right. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Look at the quarterback's eyes. He's looking. He's looking. He's trying to find a lane of some kind. But there was nowhere to go. And he was lucky to get back to the line before that defense closed in. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Throwing his May. That one's incomplete, couldn't connect. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. The Patriots have their punting unit out. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. First and 10 now from the 30. Here's a give up the middle. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. But you get this game going right up the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Throwing now off play action. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. Got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home that side. to the line they go it's second down simple dive up the middle 
And it's a nice gain, but still not enough for the first. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. All plays on the table here for third and three. Takes the handoff. Now to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be drugged down. Looks like at that 37-yard line. 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine, because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Markers reset, ball at the 37. They send the tight end in motion. Now an inside give to Walker. And he'll be stopped after getting this down to the 31. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Running with Walker again. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. It's a gain of four, and the Seahawks will have a first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy, a lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense, and I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Back to the well again. And it's a gain on the run, down to the 23. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Second and six coming up here. Putting the tight end in motion. From the 23. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I think it's fair to say in the eye in the sky to the line without that ball being tipped we were looking at the big game a missed opportunity to push their offense in a great play on the other side to deny the throw so after that prior incompletion we've got third down shotgun snap looking to throw complete out to the right side and that tackle stops him after a solid game here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I could think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? They'll run for this. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. close game they needed somebody to make that type of play now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult you know kate their offense did its part and padded the lead now it's up to this defense to make this two score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line myers to add the pat That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Patriots and this running back headed back out for a new series. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll send him over right. They'll run here on first down. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. The give here on second. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's the Patriots with possession, needing to erase that deficit in a hurry. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. That's caught for the first. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Here's May. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. May now. Able to find Jones. And he's able to get this down to the 36. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. And the Seahawks adding an extra DB here. Third down coming. Here's made in the air. He has the first over the middle. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity, and man, did he make an impact play. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. They go play action here. Cut near the goal line. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. That wasn't going anywhere else on that play. It's one of the ones called specifically for the tight end because they know he's able to get a good release off that play action, and then he gets himself in space to do some damage. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots make it a one-score game. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. 
But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Your slide, a try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. This offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really been the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Smith. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Second and ten now. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Now he'll throw off the play fake. He's on the move. He takes it himself. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's across midfield into Patriot territory. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Staying with Walker. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have 35 to figure out. He's back to throw. 
Right side, got a man, complete. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Fourth down punt from the Seahawks. And that means we're going to see Michael Dixon head on to send it skyward. And this one gets out of bounds. It was pushing some distance towards the goal line, but gets out at the five. The home teams and quarterback Drake May ready to go once more on offense. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. The give inside to Stevenson. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option. Run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. Second down now, seven to go. To throw, here's May. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he's gonna get this up to the 26 before being taken down. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's a New England first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning left for them. We've got first and ten. May. Escapes the pocket. He keeps it and takes off. Big game, 14 on the play. And the Patriots will have a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning in Foxborough. Patriots losing by seven. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. May looking to throw. Has the connection to Jones. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. To throw. Guys man on the end. Complete. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing now. He's on the move. Now here he goes. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. Here he is to throw. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And he'll go down, looks like they're marking him at the 11.
to the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. Looking to throw it. Escapes the pocket. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. Oh, man, those defensive players hate slippery quarterbacks. Near impossible to keep them hedged in or corral them behind the line there. He evades them long enough to turn a potential loss into positive yardage. Second and three now. Now to throw. He's got it. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Now the Patriots calling their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here he is to throw. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots get it down to a single point. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. On for the PAT, and a make would tie us up late. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. All set for the kickoff. Sly with the honors. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. And get that big old marker out. Cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. They're out and set, first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. That's going to do it for regulation, so some bonus football in store for all those fans in the stands. We're headed for overtime. Gotta block that missed kick from their minds and refocus. Still a win to be had as overtime has begun. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Seahawk offense taking the field now. drive will start out with a first and ten. And 
hand off to Walker from the gun. And he has enough room to gain about four. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign that we're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. This dude, I mean, this dude is putting together some kind of game today. When he scored that touchdown earlier, we knew we had to keep an eye on him. And no surprise, here he is making yet another huge impact play. He's trying in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Smith back to throw. That one falls incomplete. Couldn't make the connection deep downfield. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Seahawks bringing out the punt team. And in overtime, he needs to make this a good one. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. Fielded at the 29. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Good field position for the Patriots as they get set for first and ten. Now he gets a shot here in overtime. Wow, his first real mistake. That's intercepted. Rick Woolen with the INT. And the Seahawks surprise them with the interception and now have a chance to win this game. Okay, now both sides have had a shot prop. Neither offense could get the job done. Looks like it'll be one of these defenses that wins them this one in overtime. Yeah, give these crews defensively some credit here. It's hard to play defense in overtime. Yeah. But both deliver, and now which offense, Kate, can go and capitalize and finish this game? The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and ten. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Pass taken in by Lockett. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it sets up Seattle with first down. <laughs> That is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They give up the gut to Walker. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Looking to throw, Smith. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Well, I think there's a good case for that to go either way, but the officials decided he was the more egregious offender, so it's offensive interference. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Five men in the secondary for the Pats. Third down. Now Smith. He's on the move. He was trying to make something happen. 
We have an injured player here. Looks like it's a member of the Patriots in some discomfort. Punt team on the field. And this needs to be a good one. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. This one's headed for the sideline and out. We'll get the mark. They say it's at the nine where it crossed. The Patriots offense all set to go. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he reaches the 17-yard line as he's hauled down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 17. <laughs> Complete. It's four. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. It's a gain of four there. And that's a New England first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. They have themselves another first and ten. Option give here. And they are there to a halt at the 26. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Now a give to Stevenson, coming right. And they'll only let him get up to around the 28 before taking him down. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game, the type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Third down from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Open receiver, caught. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And the Patriots will have a first down. Speaks to this guy's talent as just an all-around difference maker, playmaker. We see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. On first down, they'll run. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Pretty obvious, this defense. Man, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, Start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. 
That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. It's an option to the left side. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's a New England first down. When they draw up these plays for the quarterback, these are the type of results they're expecting, Kate. Something that could tear a hole in the defense, move the chains, and just as importantly, and maybe most importantly, put a seed of doubt and thought into that defensive mind that the QB can run at any time. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. So as they've done so many times before, Brock, the Patriots take the win here at Gillette Stadium. And they only needed to set him up with a shot to connect and win it with three, and his aim was true to make it happen and put an end to this competitive ball game. Well, that'll do it for us, for Brock Heward and our entire hard-working crew. I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots emerge as winners, as with that, we'll sign off from New England.